Hey guys, in this video I'm going to explain something that's not really widely known about the Indians. So I'm starting here with Gandhi, the leader of the Indians, and one thing that a lot of people don't know about is that they can actually turn resources on the map into instant productivity, food, or even gold. Uh, now, really, this isn't unique to the Indians. This can actually be applied to almost any civil, well, yeah, any civilization in this game. But it's most noticeable with the Indians, especially in the early game when, you, when you're running around with your settlers trying to make a good situation even better. And basically, you may come acro across a resource that may help you out in the early game. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. I'm just going to run around. Let's see what the game has available in terms of resources. Uh, let's get this. So this would be a pretty good example. You know, we've got coal right here. Uh, which is cool, so we could actually use that as a tree essentially in the ancient era because I could just plant here, take advantage of this dye and also this cattle. And uh, you would actually have pretty awesome productivity in your capital. But what I wanted to show is that you can actually pump out a free warrior if you just plant right here. As you see, my warrior bar is actually full. Which means I can pump out a warrior on turn one. Similar to what the Aztecs can do. So here we go. We got a warrior in 3800 BC and we ran around a little bit. So that's a one demonstration. You could do that with any product production resource, whether it's coal, uh, basically any of the different ones, aluminum, any of them, oak tree. Now, you, that may be a bad idea in many circumstances, but in some circumstances that could actually be a game changer for you. So here's another situation. I'm right here with the Indians. Another start. In this case, I got food right here. So I just wanted to demonstrate what this actually does. Let's run down here. And we'll plant just for demonstration purposes. As you can see, this gave me 10 food. Because in order to get to 3 population, you would need 20 food. So I'm half of the way there now. So I could actually get there in 3 turns up to 3 population by working food for a little bit. Uh, again, most of the time I don't advise this, but like I said, there may be situations where this is handy or desirable. Now, it doesn't matter how many hammers or apple, you know, how much food or uh, science is actually provided by the resource. It will always give you 10. So it doesn't matter how far you are or, you know, if it's doesn't make any difference. It's always 10. It's converted in a, the same way every time. Now this is an interesting case because this actually does nothing which is a little bit surprising. You would think it would give you 10 culture but it actually does nothing. Let's go ahead and test that out to be sure. So as you can see it gave us zero. Still zero out of 150. Just a little strange because that's inconsistent with the other, you know, given the behavior of the other resources. But there you go. It, that will never. That would actually be kind of handy because in some cases you might just prefer ten culture. In some cases, because a lot of times you don't end up working those tiles. So that's too bad. Another interesting benefit is if uh, you're trying to settle on wine or on spices is another one. Uh, generally. I can't imagine that you would want to do that to spices, that's a pretty good tile, but maybe wine you don't care about, but you do want the instant gold, maybe? I have no idea why you'd do that. Just know that it is possible. Right now I got 50 gold, I settle. And now we got 10 more gold, we're up to 60. So it's kind of like half as beneficial as actually getting hammers. So really, I think it seems like the best one is either the food or the hammers. Production, whatever you'd like to call it. Uh, the trade. Uh, I don't know why you'd want to do that, maybe. 
maybe just some kind of a desperate scenario where you're planning a city and you need the gold to pop out an archer or something weird like that. I don't know. It's possible. Uh, the culture, of course, is useless, so don't do that. Uh, so that's it, guys. just wanted to show you what you could do when you settle on a resource and what the implications are, how it affects gameplay. It's a little-known technique, especially settling on a, product a production spot. Uh, let me know what you think. Do you find it useful, interesting, insightful? I uh, hope you, if you like the video, give it a thumb up and follow if you enjoyed the content here on this channel. And I'll see you guys next video.